For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The word of God is said to instruct, transform, change your life like never before. As you listen to Pastor Cornelius Haruna, a senior pastor, Restoration House, your life will never remain the same. God bless you as you listen. Somebody said God will make you. In this first Sunday in the year 2023, very important. First of all, let me congratulate you for understanding the importance of beginning with God. Amen. How you begin matters. How you begin matters. There are people who need to repair some things in the middle because of how they began. It's very important to begin where. Hallelujah. Please get seated. Very quickly, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16 to 22. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16 to 22. As you must have known, this year has been declared as a year of supernatural shift. Amen. Hallelujah. What is 2023 about? How do you I'm receiving my restoration? Recovery and release. You have declared it, so it is unto you. And amen. See you at the topmost of one more time. What is 2023 about? How do you mean? Recovery and release. As you have declared it, so it is unto you. Amen and amen. See you. At the topmost top. Amen. Give Jesus a clap of praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jeremiah 30 verse 16. All the way to verse 22. Therefore all they that devour you shall be devoured. All thine adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity. They that spoil you shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon you I will give for a prey. Verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Verse 18. For said the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tent, and have mercy on his dwelling places. And the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Verse 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as a full time, and their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. Verse 21. And their nobles be of themselves, and their governors shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engages her to approach unto me, said the Lord? Verse 22 And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Amen. The Lord bless the lineage of sword in the name of Jesus Christ. Please have new living translation. Get okay, get it set for me. I want to read New Living Translation so you can understand before we go ahead to quickly examine. Well, looking at this the supernatural shift, but all who devour you will be devoured, and all your enemies will be sent into exile. The enemy of Nigeria will run out of this country this year. They will run out. They will be sent into exile. The country will become uncomfortable for them and will run away. In the name of Jesus Christ. All who plunder you will be plundered. And all who attack you will be attacked. I will give you back your health. You see that one now? I will give you back your health and heal your wounds. I don't know your, the wounds you carry in your heart. The wounds you have sustained over the years. He said, I will heal your wounds. He said, for you are called an outcast. Jerusalem, for whom no one cares. Nobody cares about you. 
But this is what the law says. When I bring Israel home again from captivity, that's talking about release and, and, and recovery, and restore their fortunes. So God is said to restore to you your fortunes. Jerusalem will be rebuilt on its ruins and the palace reconstructed as before. You, are you seeing that now? You, I needed to show you that so you can have an understanding of the scripture. Reconstructed as before. That is taken to the way it ought to be. Restoration recovery. There will be joy and songs of thanksgiving. And I will multiply my people, not diminish them. I will honor them, not despise them. Just said for honor like never before this year. Their children will prosper as they did long ago. Are you seeing that? Restoration to factory setting. Their children will prosper as they did long ago. I will establish them as a nation before me. How many homes are said to be established this year? Marital homes will be established this year. There are many young persons like Ms. Pris Mrs. Priscilla testify that by the time this year is ending or by the 1st of January 2024, you also be testifying that you started the year as a single and ended the year married. And not married to mistake, married to the right person. If that is your own, let your amen be louder than that. There will be an establishment of homes this year. Establishment of marriages this year. Establishment of businesses this year. He said, I will punish anyone who hurts them. They will have their own ruler again. And he will come from their own people. Do you understand? From among us rulers, leaders, they are nobles. That's what he called nobles. Will come out from among them. There are many nobles that will arise from this congregation this year. Oh, your amen this morning. I don't know whether you are still trying to recover from sleep. I say your nobles will arise from our men. Amen means so be it. And when you say amen, you connect to the realm. Do you understand? Nobles will arise from our midst. Great men, great women will arise from our midst. Mighty men of valor, mighty women of virtue will arise from our midst. In the name of Jesus. He said, I will invite him to approach me, says the Lord. For who will dare come unless invited? Get ready because God is about to tender you an invitation. You see, this last part is one of the most crucial and brutal aspects of this year. Okay? Because we are being invited into realms in the spirits that we have never entered before. Amen. Strange spiritual dimensions. He say in the book of Revelations, he said, I had the voice, verse 1 and 10, I had the, chapter 1 and verse 10, I had the voice as of a trumpet that sounded behind me and said, come up here when he said come up it i say immediately i was in the spirit so there are realms you can't enter until you are called and god is saying this i want to call you i want to call you up to a realm he said come i will show you the things that will be here after i want to call you to a realm you have never been before your eyes will see what they have never done before your ears will hear what that's never heard before i want to call you up to a realm we are shifting in dimensions this year we're entering into spiritual dimensions this year realms of the spirit that you have never entered into in your life before you are stepping into it this year in the name of jesus christ somebody say i'm stepping higher spiritually let's look at that revelations one verse 10 you will be my people. we'll go to revelation chapter one and let's take from verse 10 very quickly it was the last day and i was worshiping in the spirit suddenly i heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet blast okay it said write in the book everything you see and send it to the seven churches in the city of Minor minor parent and all that verse, verse give me verse 12 when i turned to see what's in me i saw seven golden. okay go to chapter 4 verse 1 go to revelation chapter 4 verse 1 Revelations 4, verse 1. I'll, okay. Then, as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven. Okay? And the same voice I heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, come up here and I will show you what must happen after this. So, a door is open, but you must be invited to enter it. Come! 
come and instantly i was in the spirit and i saw a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it and all that so the voice said come and then he entered into a realm in the spirit meaning that that door that he saw open was not a door in physical you see you have to understand this is a door in the physical if i want you to open this door i can open and say come and then you can come because because it's physical but when a door is a spiritual door it can be standing right beside you yet you cannot enter until you receive an invitation from that realm that say come what that invitation will do is that it will confer upon you the nature of immortality it will swallow up your natural realm and translate it into a spiritual realm that will cause you to be able to relate with the spiritual then you enter the door that is why in first corinthians chapter 2 the bible says very clearly that when we talk about the things of the spirit it is spirit that communicate with spirit for the the things of the spirit make no sense to a natural man because they are foolishness unto him because they are spiritually discerned you have to discern them spiritually so it is spiritual call that make you to connect spiritual realm and god in this year i'm about to extend the call unto you amen supernatural shift what is supernatural shift for this service spiritual supernatural shift simply is a change a drastic change a divine change in place position and direction place position and direction place is talking about i am here but i am meant to be there supernatural shift means the hand of god moves to transport you from where you are to where you ought to be amen that is supernatural shift in deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 the children of israel were moving in a particular they were just moving around can you okay get, get back to Deuteronomy 1, verse 6, verse number 6. The children of Israel were, were just going around a particular area. They were just maintaining somewhere. Meanwhile, God needed them. God wanted them somewhere else. So the Lord our God spoke unto us in Horeb saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mount. Verse 7. It said to them, turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the amorites that is that the, i am expecting you to be in your place of possession i am expecting you to be where you will take delivery but you have been here all these years now i'm saying to you enough is enough i want to shift you i want to shift you to where you ought to be i announced to someone in this year 2023 the hand of god is shifting you to where you ought to be maybe somebody here is already satisfied i'm not there is somewhere i need to be there is a realm i need to be and i'm trusting god for his hand to shift me into that realm he said go to the mount of the to the to the places night or to, in the plain in the hills in the valley in the south by the seaside to the land of canals or to lebanon to the great river the river euphrates verse 8 look at what he said in verse 8 very interesting behold i have set the land before you go in and possess the land which the lord swore unto your fathers abraham isaac jacob to give them unto their seed after them meaning this land have been given nobody today the land have been given today god already said it to abraham to isaac and jacob but you you are here moving around another place you ought to take possession i have said it so you can take it but you have not been taking it you have been moving around a particular place now it is time to turn it is time to turn i want to shift you into your inheritance i announced to someone here by prophetic injunction this morning you are stepping into your inheritance i say you are stepping into your inheritance you are stepping into your inheritance you are stepping into your inheritance if you believe that shout a louder amen if you believe that shout a loud most amen say with me i am i am shifting 
into my inheritance. I am shifting into my inheritance. One more time, I am shifting into my inheritance. What that simply means is where they used to see you, they will no longer find you there anymore. What that means is where they need to, they used to look in order to find you. Now they will look there and they can't find you anymore. Why? Because your place changed. There was a change in place. There was a shift. Please let this young man sit down. They are hungry for the word. Go and sit down, right? Go and sit down, right? Amen. It is not punishment. <laughs> Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a, a change in place, a shift, a shift. God wants to move you from that place where you have been. You have dwelt long enough here, and now the hand of God is set to move you. Again, I announce to someone who is crazy enough to believe the crazy things that will be coming out from this lips this this year i announce you are shifting drastically ayakatokopetia from where you are to where you ought to be from where you are to where you ought to be from where you are to where you ought to be from where you are to where you ought to be in the name of jesus god said to joseph in the revelation at the age of 17 he saw the sun the moon they starts bowing everything he saw was that people were buying to him but between the age of 17 and 30 he never saw that rather i saw himself in slavery saw himself in all manner but you know what the bible said this young man who was a prisoner locked up the bible said until the time that his word came when the word came, when the prophetic came for that season, God, if the word of the Lord tried him, the moment the word came, a hand carried him from the prison and took him to the palace. When we talk about a shift, we are talking about supernatural, is something that is not explained it's something that the human mind cannot explain if it was if he was released from the prison and say you can now go back to where you came from it's a different ball game but he was carried from the prison and taken to the palace that is a supernatural shift and that is your story this year 2023 that is your story this year 2023 there is someone here i'm talking now who right now you are looking for a job but before the middle of this year you have several people under your employment I mean before the, the the june of this year before this year goes halfway you have staff working under you you have staff working under you you have staff working under you he shifted him the bible said in the book of psalm chapter 105 when you read it from verse 17 18 19 you will see what happened to joseph it was a shift a shift god said your place must change they put you as number number 100 and i want you to be in number one and i'm going to do it by my hand he sent a man before them even joseph who was sold for his servant verse 18 his feet they hot with feathers of iron he was laid in iron until the time that his word came when the, his, the word of the lord tried him that is the prophetic came verse 20 the moment the word came the king sent lose him even the ruler of people and let him go free but that's not all that's release right it's part of what we're looking at later. but he made him lord of his house uh -uh. from prisoner to lord and ruler of all his substance that one looks more to buy these princes all of those ones who were princes before joseph came he received the legal right to bind them and to teach his senators wisdom senators that went to school senators that sat down and went to our manner a, a young man was taken from the prison to teach them and he had enough wisdom for them to sit down and learn that is called supernatural shift i decree for someone here that is your portion this year oh your amen is not the believers amen i said that is your portion this year that is your portion this year that is your portion this year lift up your right hand somebody say oh lord in this year 2023 i am shifted in place i shift from where i am 
there ought to be in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Want it? Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Is somebody praying at all? In this year 2023, I'm shifting where I am to where I ought to be. There is a place where I ought to be. There is a realm where I ought to be. There is a Yaba Kama I am no longer in the prison. Araka Toko Pekeselia. Eta Parata Zaya. Ere Peke Toko Balabalagayada. Ika Pande Posca Labradia. Le Pere Keto Zuzala. Equida Panda Albacas. Ele Pele Keto Bagazara. Ele Peke Tolo Balagayada. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Do you know that place determines experience? For example, you are only hearing what I'm saying now because you are here. If you are not here, you won't be hearing what I'm saying. Is that not so? Place determines experience. Your man called me some time ago. Always seen himself. We, we happen to go through the same university, the same class. But after we graduated, he finished NYC many years later. They, they won't even call him for an interview. However, we keep having this dream, seeing himself in his school, primary, a secondary school that he, he left many years ago in the village. That's all he kept seeing. He never saw himself anywhere else. So it's possible for a person to be in, 20, in, in 2023, for example, physically. But it's not in this year. The devil has locked some person up many years ago in the realm. So it just everything he sees is around that particular period. The house is that house. The, the, the school is that school. He doesn't see anything about now. He doesn't even not to have seen anything about the future. He only sees this because that is where the devil has kept him. All right. And that young man was called on phone and prayer was made for him. The next week he was called for an interview. The following week another interview and then he, he got a professional job. Amen. That pays in hundreds of thousands. On that three weeks after that, that prayer on the phone. Over two to three years of no invitation to come for an interview disappeared and he got employed till today. Hallelujah. Because God changed his place. So if there's any place you are spiritually, negatively, in this year, we are talking about release, right? We talk, you are, in this year, you are forcefully released from that place. You are released from that place. Anywhere your destiny has been tied down. Anywhere your glorious destiny has been tied down. I decree a force for release. I decree a force for release. I decree a force for release. In the name of Jesus. And you are shifted from that place. And shifted to where God has ordained for you to be. If you believe, say loud, Amen. Please get seated. I just here this morning to gain perspective of what this supernatural shift is bringing to us. Amen. Uh, not just a, a change in place, it is a divine change in position. Amen. A divine change in what? In position. Position is talking about Keda levels. When we talk about a supernatural shift, we are talking about the hand of God moving you from the floor to the top. Amen. Hear me and hear well. You must, you must receive the right teaching. Hear and hear well. In as much as we are not carried away by position, we in this kingdom, we don't look for position in order to be proud. Look for position in order to oppress people. However, position is relevant any day, any time. There are things you cannot do until you step into certain positions. You might want to do some things in your organization. You might want to bring some changes, introduce morning devotion, introduce yearly prayer and fasting. It, that can only be done by someone who is in the position to do so. Amen. There, there, there are maybe in a school if you are the head teacher or you are the principal in the school there are things you can enforce is that not so 
you can say oh we are doing this we are fasting every week and nobody will challenge you because you are the principal is that not so you can't rise up as a teacher and just say suddenly we are going to be fasting nobody will be listening to you so hear me in the agenda of today god having an intention to influence the earth through his children he's opening up positions of authority for them so this year hear me you are god is going to position you strategically where the influence of his kingdom will be felt a shift in position god is about to move you from the floor where you you are talking nobody will say he's talking anymore nobody say who is that talking who is talking when you are talking people will pay attention when you are talking people will sit down and listen when you are talking people will pay attention and joseph make any law while he was in the prison can he make any law while he was in prison meanwhile what wanted him to do was to affect the whole of israel uh, the whole of egypt and the entire world god wanted to use him to preserve the people as well but could he do that as a prisoner he couldn't so the post would be defeated if the position was not given to him so god almighty ensured that he moved him from the prison from a prisoner position to become a prime minister all of them is p but the p is different to become a prime minister so that when he made a law the law will stand amen joseph now said okay um for the next seven years i'm going to be storing food and when the time came for distribution it's okay my family will be coming i want them to be in goshen pharaoh say go ahead the land is before you anywhere they want to be let them go and be there joseph say all right um this 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 person and this one and this one and this one they, they, they are doing they are they are they are they are stealing phones and they are misappropriating for they need to be room pharaoh say go ahead remove him remove them from the place he was only able to do what he did because he got position are you hearing me daniel also was able to impact babylon because he got position god, although he came into the land as a prisoner of war god's hand carried him from there and set him to become among the presidents the bible said in daniel chapter 6 that among the presidents god made him first and you realize that the moment he was lifted he also lifted shadrach meshach and abednego how many of you know that if we are being lifted it is the lifting of our fellow brethren in church do you know that it's not possible for you to be lifted and then there are opportunities and there are people who qualify for such opportunities and you will not look for them is that not so so god said i want to change your position to change other people's position there are some of you this year your position will change and then your family will come out of that poverty forever they will come out of that poverty forever they will come out of that poverty forever if you are really in trust this morning shout a louder amen so daniel became the president and when he became the president he was frustrating all their plans that's why they wanted him dead because he was frustrating their plans god need to move us to the some positions this year so anywhere you are working anywhere you are schooling get ready because there will be specific strategic position in this year god will position you to influence policies he will position you to influence policies i say we position you to influence policies in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus lift up your hands and say oh lord where is that position that is waiting for me this year shift me into that position can you pray that prayer right now this year shift me shift me into that position shift me shift me a licato so precatoria you cannot continue to remain at the floor it is time for us to shift i am manako sobalata sabala maya no skelemande in a mescule beriata erebe su celeparia erebe te zezida balacatalia la barada da 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 da
in the name of Jesus Christ will pray. That's why he said their nobles will be of themselves, sir. Nobles. Many years ago, myself and my brother were to travel from Cameroon to South African Republic and went to the airport. Somehow, somehow, one or two of our documents had problems. Okay? And it was the living faith pastor we were living with at that time in um, Cameroon. He was the one who was about to take us into the plane so we could go see our parents. And when we got to the airport, they look at the documents and they say, where is this and that? He spoke in, he spoke in French. And then he replied and said, oh, oh, so this one, sorry, we couldn't do this. But it wasn't something major. So the lady there said, well, in that case, they are not going to travel. Ticket is paid. Everything is paid for. They are not going to travel. And he said, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a pastor. I'm telling you the truth. And the lady said, pastors also tell lies. And he asked, I said, your own pastor lie? Yes, sir. Your pastor tell lie? I am coming. And he walked straight into the highest office. Open the door. When they, he opened the door, daddy, 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 what are you doing? He said, one of your staff is trying to mess up. And he said, let's go to this. Sir. And God said, are you the one saying, trying to, with my daddy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, you have stamped the passport now. Be on your way. And that's how we traveled. You know why? Because somebody in position was in the church. And so when somebody was trying to mess up, people have no respect for pastor. Pastor also lie. Say, hey, your own pastor lie. I am coming. And walk gallantly to the highest office. Do you understand? God need to position us. God need to position us. I say, God need to position us. This year, you shall be rightly positioned. I said this year you shall be rightly positioned. You shall be rightly positioned. Can you pray for two minutes? I, I just I just says we should pray this once more. Can we pray and say, Lord, this year I, I am shifted to the right position. Position of influence, position of impact. I will and be on the floor anymore. I am kato kopa kate kete kete kete. Elepe kato kosi te kabarata. Maya kasa la barakata. Elepe kara sana la ba. Elepe de sana la ba. Elepe de Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? This year position is shifting. Ay, 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 ay. The hand of God is moving me into a higher position of influence, a position of impact, a position of influence, a position of impact. Ashakali da barato ya, eleka teke para basai da ya ba, eleka teke la bela gaya da osada, elepere gaya besi da la bela gaya da, ima kamba la toska, elepere. Pray, 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 is positioning me. A racket of Azaya Catanina, a leperato city of Babarataza. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. It is done. Please sit down. He said, you shall be the head and not the tail. What will make you the tail? Why should you be the tail? When there is a place at the top. Amen. When there is vacancy at the top, don't settle for the floor. No. Don't settle for the floor. There is vacancy at the top. Program for the top. Isaiah 58 verse 14. He said, you shall make the Lord your delight, or you shall delight the, yourself in the Lord, and He will. I will cause you to ride upon the high places. Where will you ride? You ride upon the high places of the earth. You ride upon the high places of the earth. You ride upon the high places of the earth. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know Evangelist Reabonki preached the gospel to Sani Abasha? Amen. <laughs> Uh, sitting on the dining table in, his, in, in Abasha's house. <laughs> and he preached the gospel to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he couldn't say, how dare you? Because the person talking to you is also a person of authority. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thirdly, it's a change in direction. A change in what? Direction. Supernatural shift means you are headed in the wrong direction. Then a, a strange move of God, a strange wind of God intercepts you and, and just changes your direction of movement. I hope you know that direction affects destiny. In Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17, he said, I am the Lord your God, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Jacob. I'm the one that teach you to profit. I'm the one that lead you by the way that you go. And in verse 21, he said, oh, that you have hearkened to me. Then he said, they thirsted not when he led them. So, when you are in the right direction, you don't thirst. Amen. When there, there's, there, there is a way that God can intercept your wrong direction, even though you might be genuinely moving in the wrong way, he can intercept it and turn it in another direction. Example was Paul in Acts chapter 9. This man was zealous for God, and he thought he was doing the right thing. He persecuted Christians, he killed them. But the Bible says he was on his way to Damascus one day and what he was going to do there was to persecute the Christians but on his way going there was a supernatural encounter that brought a supernatural shift and from that day forward the direction of Saul or Paul of Tarsus changed amen the direction of Saul of Tarsus changed from that day forward he was no longer the same person simply because his direction changed Amen. You cannot expect to get to the right destination following the wrong direction. You can't. So a major miracle God does for us is a redirection. Amen. It's called supernatural shift. It's a redirection. Do you remember the man by name Saul? When in father's donkey got missing and he began to look for his father's donkey until he came to the point where he felt I can't find them anymore. Let me go back home. And then suddenly the, the, the servant said, Let us, there is a seer, there is a prophet. There is a, a, someone who understands God is by the side. Can we go and see him? And the Bible said, they went to meet Saul. Of course, with the intention that Saul will tell them something about the donkeys that are missing. But when they got to Saul, uh, to Samuel, Samuel took a vial of oil in, in 1 Samuel 10 verse 1 and poured it on top of the head of Saul Say so is because the Lord has chosen you to be captain. You see, his direction was different until there was an encounter that shifted his direction in another way. And the moment he shifted that way, everything about his life is. There is a direction that God is going to bring your way this year that will change everything about your life. I say it will change everything about your life it will change everything about your life it will change everything about your life if you believe the louder amen peter was a fisherman that was his direction every day he went out looking for fish to feed his family that was all he knew then came jesus in matthew chapter 4 and verse 19 and he said follow me and i will make you fish out man and, and and peter one way or the other by conviction or whatever peter followed him and when peter followed him it was this same peter it used to baffle me it was this same peter that in the book of acts of the apostles when you read from chapter 3 all the way to chapter 4 Five chapter six chapter seven the bible said this peter will pass and his shadow will heal the sick nobody would have known was if this man but a direction came that changed everything about his life everything changed by what by direction what about elisha the son of shafa he was a business man just taking care of his father asses and then he was uh, um, um he was walking with the 12th oxen he was walking with the 12th yoke of oxen when elijah passed by and carried a mantle and threw on him in other words it's a new direction and the bible said he left everything and followed elijah by that singular change of direction the bible said this man carried so much anointing that when he died his bone was seizing the dead everything changed because direction changed i announced to someone here this year 2023 a major change in direction is coming your way 
I say a major change in direction is maybe for some of you you need to come out from a particular line of business into another one god will reveal it to you oh you know it's not that you are a bad business person it's that you are in the wrong place is you are dealing with the wrong thing dealing with the wrong product that is not where god ordained you to be so the struggle is ever continuous but when you find your place you are at your best therefore that particular direction that must come your way in order to redefine your destiny i decree this year that direction is coming this year that direction is coming this year that direction is coming you see fish is not weak but when you take it out of water and you place it on the it becomes weak it's not that it is in itself is that it's weak in the environment where you kept it in the same way there are life life areas and feeds that are not fit for you amen the more you try to go there the more your struggle remain abundant but there is a place meant for you sir there is a place god has ordained for you please don't allow any economic situation to make you leave the dream and leave the vision originally that is wired into you and start pursuing other things are you hearing me ensure that you are you are still in the line of what is passionate to you because that passion in your heart is a proof of where god wants you to be ultimately a direction is coming your way that will place you in the exact the very exact direction where god has ordained for your life where god has ordained for your life where god has ordained for your life in the name of jesus christ many years ago god changed my direction i was said as an academically brilliant young man headed for the business world headed for academia in a very drastic way it was it was a direction i was headed in that way until there was a supernatural shift amen it was a supernatural shift it was a divine interception and interruption 4th of april 2008 it was a, a drastic from 3 a.m to 7 four hours that vision has never left me that and rearranged my destiny amen and i have no single regret about it today not one regret if i have the opportunity it, I will direction in again. Amen. Number one, place is changing this year. Two, position is changing this year. Three, direction is changing this year. And as that is changing, don't forget, it will bring what? Restoration, recovery, and what? Joel chapter 2 verse 25. Look at one of the restoration that will happen for you this year. Joel 2 25. Are we still together? This new year does. Hallelujah. New year what? I told you this year, we will, it's not, there's nothing introduction about the year. We just run. Amen. We, just, we hit it running. Whatever must be done, we begin now. We are not waiting for second, waiting for third. Fire from now. Fashion from now. Zeal from now. Joel 2.25, this is for somebody here. I don't know who this is for, but lift up and receive it i will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten oh this year there will be restoration of wasted years 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 i don't know what i'm talking to here this morning but i want to announce to you the years that the people have eaten the years Yes, that the canker worms and the palma worms have eaten. There shall be restoration this year. Restoration of wasted years. Restoration of wasted years. Restoration of wasted years. In the name of Jesus. Remember not the things of the past. Neither consider the things of old. Don't consider them. Don't consider former things, things of old. Don't consider. Say, behold, I will do a new thing. He says, shall ye, it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What he's simply saying to you is that don't cry about the years you lost anymore. 
don't cry about the seasons you wasted because you were ignorant don't cry about those seasons again because god is about to give you a new that is going to cause every single year that was lost to be recovered in a hurry and this is the announcement for you this year 2023 all the years that were ever wasted will be gathered together and manifested into this year will be gathered together and manifested into this year will be gathered together and manifested into this year are you interested in praying that prayer lift up your right and say oh lord today i come before you and i decree that in this year 2023 i receive the restoration of wasted years go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you are praying this morning restoration of wasted years Restoration of Western years. Ele pele katuya, ele pele katalia, ele peke toso pelete falaita, ele pele katoso do balaga ya dalabas. Restoration of Western years. Restoration of of Western moments. Restoration of Western times. La kaya baratosi alabaha. I receive my restoration. Arakate ke palasa, ele pele te ke leba bara. La parada da 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 da. I receive my restoration. I receive my restoration. I receive my restoration. Ah, shaka la balaga ya ya ya. I receive, I receive. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Please sit down. Let me round up. Is God firing somebody this morning? Please run this year. Just, just be, just, just blow, just blast. Just explode. Tell the devil, Satan, this year you will see me. This year you hear, you will hear fire. I, 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 and beyond the restoration, there is also recovery. Look at 1 Samuel 38 to 10. 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8 to 10. 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8, all the way to verse 10. Just two or three verses. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue? This is not David now. Put your name there. Uh, and Cornelius inquired at the Lord, saying, Baba, shall I pursue after this troop? Uh, shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fear recover all. What are you recovering? What are you recovering? Your health? What are you recovering? Your marital destiny? What are you recovering? Your financial fortune? What are you recovering? Your long life? What are you recovering? Your gifts and potential? What are you recovering? Your prosperity? What are you recovering? Let me hear you say, I recover all. Ayadada, but I hear me. Anything you have ever had before that the devil took away is a physical thing or a spiritual thing. See, you recover something bigger and more massive. Recover how many? All, 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 all. Whether it was stolen, whether it was lost by carelessness, whether it was damaged by the or it was destroyed by the 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 prophecy is straight you are recovering you are recovering lift up your hand in another two minutes what are the things you recover this year can you declare them now i recover all my spiritual dimension i recover all i recover all i recover all in my family we recover all all that the devil has ever taken from us all that the enemy has ever taken from us we recover all we recover all we we recover all. We recover all. We recover all. We recover all. Ay 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 ay. Rebecca Tabaya Gazaza Dabada. I pursue. I overtake. And I recover all. I pursue. I overtake. And I recover all. I pursue. I overtake. And I recover all. Raga ya 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 ya. 
I recover all. I recover all. I cover all. I recover 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 all. La paratosa. Nothing missing. Nothing. I recover all. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. For every shame, you will receive double. Amen. Double compensation. Amen. For every shame, you receive double. Amen. Hear me, business contract man. Any contract Satan has diverted from you before. As Satan has diverted from you before. This year, you recover all. I say you recover all. Any relevant connection that was lost. This year, you recover all. This year you recover all. This year you recover all. Somebody shout, I recover all. Ah, Give Jesus a clap of praise. And um, please, sit it. Recover all. And there is a release. In Second Corinthians chapter three, verse seventeen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Second Corinthians three and verse seventeen. Oh, Jesus. The Lord is that spirit, and when there is liberty, what is there? Where the spirit of the Lord there is what? There is bondage, there is imprisonment. There is captivity. No, there is liberty, 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 liberty. So every form of captivity in your life has ended. Uh, captivity has ended. Captivity, captivity in the mind, captivity spiritually, captivity in any area at all. Where you are, captivity means you are you are under limitation. You are confined. Captivity for, does not mean that somebody is just in a small cage. If you put somebody here now and lock up the whole doors and restrict the person from coming out, is also a captivity. That means captivity is in levels. There are people's captivity lock them within a clan some people captivity lock them their influence to remain within a family so they can affect family but can't go beyond some people captivity kept them beyond maybe a village so everything they ever do remains in the village it doesn't go beyond it some people captivity they can affect the community but that's all okay but you see when the captivity is destroyed then there is no limitation there is no end to how far you can go so you have to understand this that the, the chain that is used to chain a dog is long from here to the road there does not mean the dog is free there is still a chain Anytime you are trying to enter something and you are not able to enter, it means there is, a, there is a level of captivity stopping you from entering into that one. It needs to break. And this year, every of such captivity will break. There are some people, it's not as if you are the lowest part. You know, you can look around and see that you, are, you have some testimonies and there are people that when you look at them, say, oh, thank God, God is helping me. But you yourself know there are some realms you want to enter. There are some levels you want to break into. And each time you try, it, it becomes a struggle. You try and try and you say, no, let me leave it for another year. You try and try, you say, no, let me for another year. It simply means there is what? There is a captivity. There is a limitation. There is an end embargo i have come this morning to announce that that embargo on your life is lifted in the name of jesus i've come to announce to you that that captivity is over in the name of jesus that captivity is over in the name of jesus that captivity is over in the name of jesus somebody say i receive my release i receive my release i receive my release you know that joseph in the house of potiphar was a chief servant or chief slave so it was Oga, but Oga in Potiphar's house. Then when he was thrown into the prison, it was also Oga where? In the prison. His Ogarism ended in the prison. His influence and impact ended in the prison. And then the word came. The word of the Lord came for him. And 
broke the captivity broke the chain and said this thing you carry a generation is looking for it why should you be serving in potiphar's house what god ordains to use in serving the entire world why should what you are carrying to reach the world be only serving in the prison you can interpret dream so accurate yet you are in the prison nobody is aware of it god said no i break that limitation what you are carrying your generation needs it and until you are upon the lampstand the people can't see you so what god does is to break the captivity and take you and position you where people can be aware of what you carry there are things you carry i am a kotoko some months ago i think it was in august something happened to me that began to affect my mentality I, I i went to the glory dome for a program and then i went in november and i went into the restroom uh, it's a restroom where senior pastors sit and all that i went to the restroom to eat myself and a man of god came and i recognized him a senior man of god in one of the states in nigeria and i said oh i greeted him and he looked at me and he said pastor cornelius i said sir you know me he said ah i follow you i follow him i said oh, okay so dr paul is your father i said i said no wonder no wonder the 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 utterance no wonder the fire no wonder the way the thing comes out ah and i said sir we are small boys who are following people say uh, stop that he said it is not by age sir i'm talking about the man in his 50s Say it's not by age it's not by age and suddenly i realize that what we carry is not local we just need a global open door you hear what i just said what you carry is not small but you need an opening beyond what open now you need a door to open beyond and i'm trusting god for every single one of us that this year doors will open you know some of you when you minister here uh, 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 apart from maybe the sound that will need improvement and god will do that in the course of time but when all of you that minister here this morning you ask you can minister anywhere do you know that the presence how many of you felt the powerful presence of god in the midst of the administrations amen it is just a matter of god opening a door that will move them so what you carry is not small but there is a need for a door that is why we are talking about what release somebody say release and we are talking about release because what you carry you need to be released to reach your world if you see the way this young man draws i saw some things he draws you see that thing you are drawing can go to any standard and of course you develop and grow in it you go to any standard but there is a door that need to open in order to move what you are you are doing to another dimension i know somebody understand what i'm talking about here right now in the name of jesus christ this year you are released i say you are released you are released your world will hear your voice 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 lift up your right hand in one minute say father i receive my release i receive my release to reach my generation i receive my release no more limitations no more captivity i receive my release to break every limit uh, to go beyond the status quo i receive my release now go ahead and pray 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 somebody are you praying I receive my release. 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 I Is there somebody hungry for a release? I refuse this limitation. I break beyond this point. I receive my release. I receive my release. Ministerial release. As a church, we are released. Released into a higher dimension of multitudes. Released to a higher dimension of impact. We receive our release. We receive our release. We receive our release. We receive our release. Ay, 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 ay. As a family, I receive my release. As a family, we receive our release. In the name of jesus christ will pray Amen. sit down let me run up what is the key to supernatural shift 
the, the capital key. We will break them down in the course of the year. But what is my capital key? What is the major key to this supernatural shift? James 5, verse 8 to 10. If you first of all look at our anchor scripture, it said, I will cause him to do what? To draw near. Look at it. Put Jeremiah, let's start from Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Jeremiah 30, 21. Is someone blessed this morning? And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. I will cause him to draw near. <laughs> I will do what? Cause him. What God is saying is that I want to push you, but come close. I want to help you, but do what? Come close. He shall approach unto me. I am inviting you. Come. Come. It's an invitation. This year, God is inviting us to draw near. Come near. I want to push you. I want to give you the kind of push, you know, if um, at times you go for interviews, high profile interviews you will realize that most people that go for such interviews they go with letters is that not so you will see this one letter of recommendation from this person this one letter of reference from this person is that not so so the questioner is they will ask say who is backing up who is pushing you is that not the language who is pushing you you came for this contract who is pushing you if they see a presidential signature that they attend to such a person okay so who is pushing you determines how far you can go in the journey. And God is saying, come close, I want to give you a push. Let people know that you, I am your sponsor. I want to give you a push in destiny, but you must draw close to me like you have never in your entire life. Hear me? You must, as God began to open up some of these things to me for the last one, two weeks of the, of the year, of the month of December last year, I, I began to reposition myself for a dimension of intimacy that I've never had in my entire life before. Amen. A depth, a depth, a depth at, like I've never had before. I began to rearrange and reposition myself. A depth like I've never seen before. I've never had before. I realized that speed is natural to a man who is intimate with God. It's natural unusual speed i might do you know okay thank god i'm one of those people that is gifted with long legs is that not so i'm tall so how many of you have walked with me before going somewhere and then you are you are running behind eh? while i am moving have you experienced it before you are running behind and i'm moving you are running to catch up but i am i'm not running it's my normal walk it's just my normal walk you see for a person who is intimate with God? The normal step others take when you take it, your normal step eh, is a long jump for them. It's a long jump for them. People begin to ask you, what's happening? It's the same thing we are doing that you are doing. But the issue there is who is pushing you? Yeah. Who is this? I will cause him to draw near. In James chapter 5, verse 8. Was it James, James chapter, yes, James chapter 4, verse 8. We read that in the whole night. Go and read that 8. James chapter 4, verse 8. Help me with that quickly, please. Quickly. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Are you seeing that? Hello. Is somebody seeing this? Draw near to, he will draw near to Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Mind is still double. Let your mind be singular, fast, serving and living for God is concerned. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. He's talking about being sober. Let your laughter be turned to mourn and your joy to heaviness. He's talking about being sober, okay? Verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall... <laughs> he shall do what? Thank you. <laughs> Shift you. <laughs> Amen. Ruth, a Moabites. The day she said, Your God will be my God, and your people will be my people. Moabites was a widow without a child. 
The day she said, your God will be my God and your people will be my people. And followed Naomi to the almighty God. It was that root that God gave Boaz to as husband. That is, Boaz, the almighty, the wealthiest man in the land. Boaz, a man highly consecrated and working with God. God just shifted roots. The moment you say, your God will be my God. I, I, your people with my people, as she just went close to God, God just carried and pushed her all the way to Boaz. And that woman, within a short time of her pains and captivity, was married. That marriage terminated many things. Number one, sorrow. Number two, it terminated poverty because they were poor. Number three, it terminated barrenness because she became pregnant. Number four, it terminated generational or affliction pain and shame because naomi was now laughing and the people say oh god has finally shown his face upon you amen because she got close to him or is he peter a fisherman when jesus said follow me i will make you when he drank drew closer to jesus by the time jesus finished pushing him under just three and a half years this guy shook the world amen this year god is calling on you rise upon your feet you can give Jesus a shout of praise if you want to. There's an invitation. He wants to shift you. Hear me. The level you will not enter this year is the level you deny yourself entrance into. Satan will not be your limitation this year. Amen. But you have a choice. Draw near. Draw near. Be intimate with this God. God is sweet now. Nah? Life with him is sweet. Come closer to him. Amen. He said, come to me. Come. You have labored. You are heavily lazy. I want to give you rest, but come to me first. Come to me first. Lift up your hands. Over. Oh, lover, oh, lover. Help me now. I hear it. I hear it. Under five minutes, I'll pray with you and then we'll close. Oh, lover, oh, lover. Oh, lover. Choir, come up and help me that. I hear the invitation God wants to shift us as a church he wants to shift us I'm telling you what will happen this year we, it will shock people around people will be they will think that we are using something but it's true. God is the one pushing us people will begin to tell you that to na pastor na jujuma na jujuma na jujuma because strange things strange things Straight things, terrible things in righteousness. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I hear. Can you lift up your voice and say, Lord, I receive the grace to draw near? Can you pray? Can you pray? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. I hear it. I hear, I hear, I hear the sound of my love. It's back on me, on me, oh, to the secret. Oh, I hear, I hear the sound of my love. Oh, back on me, on me, to the secret place. Oh, I hear, oh, I hear the sound of my love. Back on me, on me, to the secret place. Oh, love. I hear the Oh, I hear the sound of my love. Hey, on me, not me. Oh, to God. Hey, I hear the sound of my love. It's back on me, not me. So that's a great bread. Oh, fountain. Hey, somebody pray. Hey, somebody pray. I receive the grace to draw near like never before. I receive the grace to draw near like never before. I receive the grace to draw near like never before. I receive the grace to draw near like never before. I shaka take a baba yaga yaga hazana baba yaga. I shaka balaga yaga yaga hazana baba yaga. 
Asada malaga yada la basada la baya la baya la. Asada malaga yada la basida la baya la baya. Ele para que tu la malaga ya sani la baya la. Ele para que tu soto ba malaga ya desiri la. E la baria ta satalia. Ele para desiri la gaya la basanda. I receive the grace to draw nearer like never before. To draw nearer to you, O Lord, like never before. I receive the grace to run to you like never before. Asaka teke palakayata, ele pere ketesi le babarataya, ele pere de 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 I receive the grace. I receive the grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your hands to heaven. Now, the heavens are open. I decree. Receive the grace to draw near unto God. Ay, 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 ay. Intimacy like never before. Depths of following God like never before. Pursuit for God and its things like never before. Passion for God and the kingdom like never before. Unbeatable love for God. Hunger that cannot be conquered. Receive in the name of Jesus. 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 This year. Shift in place, shift in position, shift in direction, bringing about restoration, recovery, and release is your portion. Is your portion? 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 In the name of Jesus, wave your hands and give Jesus the praise. Wave your hands and give Him the praise. Wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's an it's a year, a year indeed, a brutal year indeed. Ashapa la katolugo bagaya gaya na basiria. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Before we sit down in a moment, all eyes closed. You are here this morning. This auditorium or watching on the internet. You say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Today is the first day in the year 2023. You say, Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus. Anywhere you are, you want me to pray with you so you can surrender your life to Jesus. And make him your personal Lord and Savior. Maybe you are backslidden and you are coming back to him on this first day of the year. Please, wherever you are, please your right hand on your chest. I want to pray with you. Jesus is said to reach out to you. I'll count one to three for the sake of our time. One. Don't be ashamed of anybody between you and Jesus. Two. And three. You have your hand on your chest. Say this prayer after me anywhere you are. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Save me. Wash me clean from my sins. By your precious blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Jesus, thank you for saving me. I am yours and yours alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep the hand on your chest if you pray that prayer. Pray me. Father, I decree the release of your grace, the release of your help, sanctification, purification, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, our counselors will attend to you right where you are. Please follow every instruction they give to you. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Someone bless this morning. 
give Jesus a big hand. Give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. Give Jesus a big hand of praise. Hallelujah. And please, you may be seated with me. We believe you've been blessed listening to this message today. For further inquiries, you can call the number 091-588-67023. 091-588-67023. Or you can visit us live at Restoration House, adjacent New Metama Saburi 1, Day Day, of Kubazuba Expressway, FCT Abuja. Sundays, first service 6.15 a.m. and second service 8 a.m. On Wednesdays, Holy Ghost Divine Intervention Service 5.30 p.m. Every first Friday of the month, Restoration Night 10 p.m. You can also follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram at PST Cornelius Haruna. We await your testimonies. God bless you.